Hello everyone, this is Randall here, and today I'm going to be showcasing you guys Bloons Tower Defense 3. As you know, this is episode 3 of Road to Bloons Tower Defense 6, and in the third episode, we are playing some Bloons Tower Defense 3. And Bloons Tower Defense 3 was the first Bloons Tower Defense game that I've played, and it introduced me to the franchise, so this is really awesome that I get to play this game again. I remember playing this game when I was in elementary school. During lunchtime, me and my friend would go to the school library and just go to the computer and just play some Bloons Tower Defense 3 on the, the old Macintosh computers. Those were the good old days, but yeah, Bloons Tower Defense 3, they added a couple new things in the game as as well. They added the Spiker Pole, the Monkey Beacon, and Pineapple Bombs. And they also they, they made so many changes to this game and additions and it, that it just made this game more playable than Bloons Out Defense 2. Because as you know, as you guys should know, Bloons Out Defense 2 was the hardest Bloons Tower Defense game there is. And I, and with this version of Bloons Tower Defense, they fixed up their stuff and they made this a little bit more uh, easier for everyone who plays Bloons Tower Defense. So with the new towers, they, they added the spike bolt, which is a tower that just, they catapult spiked balls and you upgrade it to make them hit more balloons and you can make them go faster. And that's pretty much it. They're, they were good, but they weren't like amazing, amazing. And some other new additions is that they added a pop count for each tower. So you know how many balloons that they popped and you can also see, uh, that they added the first and last balloon type option. So instead of just hitting only the first balloon in the track, you can toggle to make the tower hit the balloon that is at the end of the track, which is very good for the spike opal because right now, as you can see, the spike opal is literally just owning all the balloons in the back. So it's a really good effective way to uh, maximize the amount of poppage your balloon takes and also um, all these towers got two upgrades as well so instead of just taking one upgrade from the left and right you can also take two upgrades from the top and bottom as well which is very nice you can add for example for the dart monkey instead of the first upgrade being you piercing one up one balloon you can upgrade it again to make it pop two balloons instead of instead of just one. So that just makes these towers a little bit more better and you can have more variety. It just adds a little bit more variety and just makes them more useful. Same goes for the bomb tower which adds bigger bombs and after the bigger bombs you get a missile launcher which is so much better because it attacks the towers much more faster and it is more better and you get to pop the leads more faster so the lead balloons don't flood in and escape the cannon tower and another new um tower that they added in the th within this game is the monkey beacon which is a support tower that doesn't really attack anything but it just supports the towers that are within its radius it will be showcased later on in this video as for that pineapple bomb it adds a delay where in within three seconds it would explode it's just not very good but it, it's it's best yet you have a bomb tower nearby instead of using those pineapples because those pineapples pineapples are not very good as for that question mark uh, you, you'll get to see it later on in the video as well but we'll just talk about the monkey beacon i guess so the monkey beacon can be upgraded to increase its radius uh, increase the attack speed of the towers within its radius and also call in that little question mark like I said before and as you can see on my screen we just showcased the MOA balloon they also they did add the MOA balloon to Bloom's Tower Defense 3 which is it's a pretty difficult tower to take out but once you take it out it'll spawn in ceramic balloons which are also new to Bloom's Tower Defense 3 and that's pretty exciting <laughs> and it just adds a little bit more difficulty. They added more towers, but added more difficulty. That, that's a good um, balance, balancing factor, I guess. 
But bam, you guys, we also have the Super Monkey. It's actually possible to get a Super Monkey in this game, unlike Bloom Star Defense 2, like I said before. So the Super Monkey in Bloom Star Defense 2, you can only upgrade it up to up into the Laser Vision, but in this game, you can upgrade it again into Plasma Vision, which is so much better, and it's just so effective. It's so good. This is why I love the Super Monkey. He's really good. But uh, yeah, this is the Super Monkey in action. We can actually use him, and he's pretty cool. Um, same goes for the um, the attack shooters or the yeah the attack shooters, the attack towers. They have an upgrade where you can have blades within them, which is very nice. Uh, instead of thin tacks, it's um, circular blades, which is very useful and much more better than than the tacks. Also within this game, they added more maps. And in within each map, you can choose a difficulty within the maps. So instead of having the maps be an easy map, a hard map, or a medium map, you have eight maps. But within eight of those maps, you can have three difficulties, which is a very nice um, addition to this game. Which it just adds more variety to the game instead of just having to rely on the maps being an easy map, a hard map, or a medium map. But as you can see on screen, we have the monkey beacon next to the spiker pole. And we did upgrade it. If you see that banana on the screen, that is the upgrade. And that question reveals the, the last little item that you can buy, which is the super monkey storm. And the super monkey storm is so good. You literally just wipe the entire screen of the balloons. It doesn't affect Moabs, but it only affects the normal balloon time. So any balloon that is on screen, it will just wipe them out, which is just very useful for the late game. As you can see, bam, we just wiped all of them out with just one click of a button, and it does cost money to do so. And yes, that is uh, that is Balloon Star Defense 3 for you guys. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys all in the next one, in which we will be playing Balloon Star Defense 4. Hope you guys all enjoy. See you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.